shampoo, deep conditioning, beauty supply store detour, blow dry, flat iron, a wrap, a haircut, curling, and laid edges. Hey y'all, it's All of Destiny. This is my curly to straight natural hair full wash day routine. So I rinse my hair for a good while before shampooing just to get my hair very wet and also rinse out any product buildup that I may have. Starting off with my Keto Conazole Shampoo. This one is 2%. If you are new here, long story short, it was prescribed by my dermatologist. I do have psoriasis of the scalp. If you keep up with my dermatologist vlogs when I take you all to my appointments with me, I get scalp injections and then I was also prescribed a few products. So I've been a client of his for about a year now. My scalp is very manageable now. It's what I would call a normal scalp. It's never flaky. It's never dry. It's never white. I don't have discoloration towards my hairline in the front anymore. Overall, I'm in love with the way my scalp is now. I'll link a few videos down below if you want to kind of catch up. So I followed up with using the one and only Speed Style Sofa Free Quick Blow Dry Shampoo. This was just a purchase that I got from Dollar Tree. But when I googled this, it cost more. So that was why I grabbed it. If I can link it, I will do that for you all. Without tangling my hair too much, I like to also use this scalp massager that I got from Dollar Tree as well. To make sure my hair is nice and nourished and strong, I'm going to go ahead and take the, it used to be called Organics. I don't know when they changed it to Originals. By Africa's Best, this is their Hair Mayo. I'm going to sit underneath my hooded dryer with heat for 15 minutes. We have a problem. I was gathering out the things that I need to get ready to reply to comments from you all. I checked my stash. I haven't straightened my hair in so long. I don't have a heat protectant. I'm gonna throw on some jeans right quick because clearly house vibes. Regardless of how I look, I don't care. I'm not as harsh as a lot of people are in the natural hair community. First off, I'm not even in the natural hair community. It don't mean that I'm gonna purposely straighten my hair without a heat protectant on it because that would be foolish of me. The fact that these fit me this good, they used to not. I don't like that. Y'all know it's annoying when people some people compliment, I mean, not that I care about what other people think of my weight. People be complimenting my weight on me and I just be like, <laughs> you clearly don't see what I see. I don't know. While I wait on my ride, I'm about to take the Suja Immunity. This is the rebound shot. This one has elderberry and probiotics. You just shake it well and then you drink it. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Woo! Hot. And shout out to Suja for uh, noticing me and, you know, gifting me these. Meanwhile, someone just said, Destiny, you're losing weight. <laughs> I cannot. Can't even. Thank you. They be having cute clothes in here, y'all. We gonna come shopping in the beauty supply. Y'all, they changed everything up in here. It look different. Heat protecting. Got these glasses on so I can't see nothing. I left my phone at home so I can't even Google the best ones. I think they have a fee if you don't get a certain amount of stuff. So I'm just gonna grab this. I need it anyway. Y'all, where is it? I ain't straightened my hair in so long. I forgot what to use. I found one. This is by Mazzani. I'm gonna get this anti-humidity spray. I ain't paying that much for no humidity spray. Y'all know I love Ambi. I did not know they had a facial moisturizer. How much is it? Why they ain't mark the Ambi? That's so petty. I'm gonna get this and put the cocoa butter one back. Ambi Regimen. Not to stretch this video out, but I found this one. It's a thermal two-in-one heat defense shine. Half the price actually, $6.49. So, whoa. I'm gonna get this one instead, as well as an edge control. Favorite. It is. I didn't plan on spending 50 bucks, but we got the goods. I rinsed out the hair mayo while I was in the shower just to save time. I applied this little rinse out conditioner. You know the kind that you let sit just like three or four minutes while you shower. I rinsed it out, applied a hair towel just to soak up some of the excess water. I'm spraying on lots and lots of the Olive Oil Thermal Last 2-in-1 Heat Defense and Shine Mist. I went ahead and applied some of my Cream of Nature Leave-In Conditioner shower comb just to detangle my hair before using my red by kiss detangler blow dryer and for a full list of all of the hair products as well as the tools that i'm using be sure to check out my description box down below my blow dryer is set to high the highest setting look at the difference between blow dried hair and just my natural hair in its natural state shrinkage is very much real 
So I'm just taking my time going section by section and then sometimes dividing my hair into subsections just so that I can make sure I'm really blow drying my hair so that I don't have any damp spots and this will also help me to stretch out my hair just a little bit. The comb attachment was like, nope, not today. Taking my time with the blow drying process actually saves time when you begin the flat ironing and it also helps you to not have to do so many passes. After blow drying my hair, I like to use the cool setting and I'm just brushing through it with this Cantu detangling brush. I like to make sure my irons are clean before using them, especially since I've been straightening a few wigs in the past. They're not even on. So let me check this because when I do my wigs, I do it on super high. It's not numbers in between. When I go to the lowest dial, it just says 140. And then when I turn it all the way up, it says 450. But this video isn't about me like saying what mine is on and then you putting yours on that. So since there's not any numbers anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. Really hoping I didn't use too much spray. Since I want to trim, I'm just going to go straight down with my hair for now. Once I get it cut and everything, that's when I put the curls in. So with my hair, I'm taking very small sections. That way I won't have to go back. And I won't have to pass my flat iron through my hair too many times. Hello, Dad. I got back the gift. Ooh, who is you, girl? <laughs> Ugly. <side>. Ugly. <laughs> yeah, my daddy just called me. <laughs> Ugly dad. <laughs> you your daddy's son. Hey. I mean, you your daddy's daughter. Hey. Hey. Go crazy. Hey. No, what that means. I'm mad. I use so much of that heat protectant. I'm trying to be a natural. I'm trying to protect my hair. I guess in the days to come, it'll wear off, so I'll be good. y'all probably like oh it's stiff it's greasy and if i wouldn't have used a protectant y'all would have been like oh she didn't use a protectant it's gonna fall out i got this light silk spray but at this point i feel like i don't even need anything extra on my hair so i'm not gonna use that i hope my little sister can get me a trim today that would be great i'm gonna make editing easy on myself because i know i will talk so much back to the music i don't think i'm gonna play christmas music in this video this is the type of video that people will watch outside of the holiday like some videos are just in the moment and then you have i think some people call it evergreen content but certain videos can be looked at on youtube any time of the year so i'm gonna use like a regular type of beat in this one but i will still do the intro for you all the chasing comb that i'm using is much cheaper on amazon and the brand on this is new me but it literally just says new me right there just to say it i would just get a chasing comb off of amazon they're all the same or even if you don't have that just use a rat tail comb like this right here and put that under the hair and then hold it follow up with the comb and the slower you go, you won't have to go through your hair too many times. Just take your time, don't rush. I definitely wouldn't do this if I didn't have time to do it, you know? Kinda getting sick of clipping my hair too, so I'ma just not clip it. It look good, wow. Can't wait to get my trim. I gotta start straightening my hair more often so that I can trim it more often, which will also mean it won't break off as much. As long as my hair is healthy, I don't be caring much about how long or short it is. I used to care, like do hair journeys and relaxer updates on my channel, but the older I've gotten now, I have hair on my head, but I'm not obsessed with it like at all. But I guess when you have a channel, that's kind of, I wouldn't say that's where the obsession could come from, but it's more so like if you do hair on your channel, then you start doing lots of hair videos and then people want to see you use lots of different shampoos and try this, try that. But I'm obsessed over it. I don't feel like I'm obsessed. No, at one point I was focused on my growth and what's the little term people use? Bra strap length, shoulder length, waist length. Because I know some people have like goals and stuff. I literally don't think that far about my hair at all. When you do hair on your channel, people feel that you should have goals like that. But I don't because I know some people are going to ask. I don't have like a gold length or anything. I just got hair. It probably sounds harsh. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm finna wear my hair straight. More often. It look good. I'm the type of person I feel like if I'm gonna straighten my hair, I'm gonna straighten it. I don't want it looking blow dried. Alright, so this side is done. Flat iron versus blow dry comparison. Yes. Ooh! Ooh! next side every time i try to turn around to get in the frame for y'all i can't straighten my hair so if you're not new to my channel you may have heard me talk about on and off a little bit 
becoming a straight natural, someone who chooses to straighten their natural hair. Having natural hair for me never meant only wear your hair curly. I don't feel that the two are related. Choosing not to chemically process my hair at this current time does not require me to keep my hair in its natural state at all times. It's simply a personal choice that you don't need permission to make. Wow. I thought I was recording my hyperlapse and I didn't even press record. That's crazy. There's that. Oh my scalp. I can actually feel my scalp. I feel like I got it relaxed now. I'm about to wrap my hair up real quick before I forget so that I can start editing. Let's see. I remember how to wrap her. There's more that goes into that, but I don't have enough voiceover space for that. If y'all want more discussion on it, let me know. But honestly, it's really not a lengthy discussion. It's just simple for me. I'll be straightening out my natural hair more than I have been in the past. I think my ends look pretty good for me to not have them trimmed in a while, honestly speaking. But hey, who knows? Maybe I'm just biased to myself, but they look good to me. My hair still looks full to the end, I'll say that. But I'm still going to get it trimmed just because I haven't had one in a while. I think I'm going to get the trim tomorrow, so I'll most likely have to hold this footage. I mean, I'll just put all of that together for y'all. Ooh, it's cute up here. Hey, decide. I got you something. Christmas clothes you can wear for vlog. <laughs> <gasps> Look, this is so cute, boom. Oh, she got a cake. Don't get happy. <laughs> put no towel on you. It look bad, don't it? <laughs> bad would be an insult to the very bad. So my sister Boone is gonna trim my hair. Boone, AKA D side. She does have her own YouTube channel. I'll put her channel name on the screen and I'll have a direct link in the description box down below. She actually has two YouTube channels. She is in cosmetology school. So of course, whenever I need things done to my hair, She's who I'll go to for one, support, and for two, I just don't let everybody touch my hair. Um, I didn't really give her instructions or anything. I just kind of told her that I was straightening out my hair and I said, hey, could you give me a trim later on? And I basically just left the rest up to her since she's the one that's in school. I know that I hadn't had a trim in a while, so I was okay with whatever she would have done, honestly. <laughs> So after she evened up the ends, she's just going to basically go section by section and kind of like part throughout my hair, which is really what I wanted to really just get all of the sections of my hair. But just to give a different feel to the video, I'm going to play a little bit of the live audio now. If you'd like to skip, I have that timestamp on the screen. Yeah, she got to be at school in a minute. So I'm really, always be I'm really interfering in her time right now. Let me let it down. Now I thought I saw a little white flake. I ain't putting nothing on my skin. I thought you were finna have to call Kev. <laughs> get Kaplan on the phone. <laughs> my skin been holding up too. You know, right. normally I get like a month and a half. Mm -hmm. I go back in the I, I mean, I feel like I'm still like good and whatever. That's good. I'm gonna be itching. Up. All these different companies be posting us in this wig and it's not even their hair. I just don't keep replying to the same thing over and over. Wow. Cause everybody send me that all the time. That picture floating around so much. I ain't never worked with none of them people before. They just be stealing photos. You know, so them like that. I posted it once and said, this hair is from Wild African. Everybody else just recycling the photo. And then people would be mad at the YouTuber if they go and buy the hair. And it's just like, if you follow my channel yeah, or any YouTuber, yeah, you should check my page for the tag and see. And if you watch my videos, I'm saying, you know what company yeah. I work with. I don't respond to every hair company that email. I get like probably hundreds and hundreds of emails from her companies you could cc them to me <laughs> i couldn't possibly keep up i get enough emails from hair companies to upload a hair video every day if i wanted to but realistically who's gonna do that i would if i did something like that i would just try to do a wig every day and end up giving it away or something that'd be cool <gasps> Girl, she done stole my earring. Take me home. Girl, you take off your jewelry first. <laughs> this is a real earring, too. See how lightweight it is? Nah, it ain't broke. You know I got some real earrings. Yeah, I was there. I'm glad you go inside, because my hair's so split. That's another reason I said I want to start straightening it more often. Yeah, I saw Cinder. I was talking about that, and I feel the tape. For real? <laughs> when I didn't feel the tape, but I was like, she right. When you natural how. When people always wearing their hair natural stuff, you don't know the state that your hair in. Yeah, that's true. And then she was just saying a lot of these naturals really get like damaged hair out here. And I was like, dang, she like yeah. preaching on Cause when you wearing it curly, you don't see it that much. Nah, you don't. Cause when I was blow drying my hair and combing it and stuff, I was just like, Ew. I ain't never felt like I was in the unnatural hair community. That like, I feel like I have natural hair. But I'm not part of a group with it. Cause you don't upload like natural hair videos. Yeah, I'm like, not. I don't. Yeah. How to know your porosity? How to know this? Yeah. If you did, then yeah, you gotta stay loyal to the naturals. 
I ain't loving it. I'm not in the community at all. I'm not even in the YouTube community. I don't feel like, like I'm in the YouTube community either. It's a hobby. They be like, ah, oh, you doing your hobby today? I be like, yeah. I decided to do it today. I mean, it's no shade to commit with well, never mind, no disclaimers. You know how like if people do makeup, it's like, oh, such and such channel has makeup. Like mine. You on has... YouTube, you just did the voice. <laughs> oh, well, I'm in the community then. <laughs> I guess I ain't in a box. I don't know. Never mind, cause I'm saying I'm making it sound like people are in a box. No, we just you don't upload one thing. You upload different. Yeah, things. I have so many different topics on my channel or niches, lots of stuff. Yeah, I get what I mean. Majority of this is gonna be muted though, I think this for is ease of editing. Oh, and the front, could you give me a little I more of a front? <laughs> something like that, so I can feel it, kinda. Your hairline weird. I ain't laid my edges yet because I knew you was going to be calming through it. <clears throat> so I didn't want the edge control to get calmed through my hair. Give this video a thumbs up. My arm hurts Kroger carrying pool. this for y'all. <gasps> Pesto. Oh, why don't you? It feels so good. Oh. Ah! I'm sorry. I should go back to old YouTube days and let this run. Like, uh, it, no, I don't know. It depends on what we was talking about. They ain't ready for old YouTube. Though. They ain't ready for old YouTube. 2021, we should bring back old YouTube. What cute background. Yeah, they what cute top. The people that I used to watch old YouTube, you Malibu. love Megs, Malibu doll face. I, I first people I times, like classic people. And that's it. Them one of the first people I actually kept up with. Yeah, I used to watch you love Megs a lot. And this girl hey, named uh, Erica Hor, Erica Hor, her sister. <laughs> and this other girl named um, how oh, was that girl name? What's that girl name? Saying that she put there. everybody on to the uh, silicone mix. Uh, oh, she snuck from. a picture of it when her stylist walked away and said she oh, slipped she up those. and didn't put no. Normally she put it in separate containers and she came yeah, and she, me. but she didn't put it in separate containers so she took pictures of it and basically everybody on YouTube knew the little mix of the combo that she used to get and she always had really pretty hair on YouTube. What happened to light skin girl that sing? Light skin girl that sing. Asia major act mm. like you know it. I ain't wanna take off like a whole oh, lot. Oh, it look good. Thank you, boom. Thank you, d -side. Oh! Yay, look at that. I love it. Well, what you say on Dragon Tales? Love it. Nah, that was the wrong key. I know it's like it weird. And I love it. <laughs> Y'all, straight hair, who? I told y'all about to be a straight natural. This is the start, okay? My ends feel good. I really love the way my hair turned out. I'm really satisfied with the amount my sister took off. Figured, hey, why not go ahead and get the cut? <laughs> Since I haven't had one, take off what you need to take off. So proud to my haircut. My hair did grow quite a bit from the last time it's been straightened. And although I do know some people trim their hair when it's in its curly state, for me personally, it's just not something I choose to do. Which is also another reason I'll be straightening my hair more often to better be able to see my ends for trims. Yeah. Absolutely. Love it. So I'm gonna get this section right here. I'd say probably an inch and a half at the most. So this is my sister's Layla Ali flat iron curler. They go majiggy job. Just some cute. I just took big sections and I'm holding it by the tip and roll. Delicious, make the boy go loco. I like to curl it back like that. Oh, come on now. It's very much giving my old relaxer days. I ain't gonna redo it. Last one. And for my edges, a 24 hour edge timer, extra hold. I put, huh? I've been watching Maurice. For real? Look at that. Oh! I thought they were from the batteries like to Kim because everybody always got her chubby and stuff. They so liked I her. I remember yeah, that actually liked her. I haven't ran my hands through the curls yet. I want them to sit so that I don't have to curl my hair every day. To maintain the curls without using heat every day, I'm just using flexi rods at night. If I don't leave the house for the day, I'm just not even going to take them out. So the amount of oil, it did exactly what I thought I was going to do. I let it marinate overnight and... It's the marinade for me. Yeah, it kind of soaked in today. Yeah, straight natural. It's official. Love it. Love it. 
Remember I used to say, shake it back like this. Flashback. To feather your hair, you come it back like this. Shake it forward like that. And you be bummed like this, like that, like that. In a flashback. This is the exact bathroom. Oh, geez, remember this bathroom. I used to do my relaxed hair videos in here. Relaxer days. Finna get that relaxer girl. Hey, they thought I was going natural girl. Nah. Yes. Told y'all, even works whether you're natural or relaxed. Nah, nah, nah. Come in. Oh, you tired? Oh, look at Who did your hair? How do you like it? Bone trimmed it and I curled it. Look at the fat little legs. <laughs> Girl, you look like Queen Elizabeth. Not Queen Elizabeth. Mm. Christmas vibes. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll talk to you all later. Take care. Yes.